NVIDIA announced a few new products for their inference platforms for large language models and generative AI workloads. On today's episode, what I want to do is take a closer look at these new solutions, kind of take a closer look at their growth opportunities. And more importantly, the company did have a Q&A session yesterday where they shared even more insight on these products. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. So like I mentioned, NVIDIA yesterday announced four inference platforms optimized for a diverse set of rapidly emerging generative AI applications, helping developers quickly build specialized AI powered applications that can deliver new services and insight. So I want to say the first thing that comes to mind when reading this is generative AI, the hype and all that. But I do want to say to investors and other viewers that, hey, while these solutions and NVIDIA, in my opinion, is really great at pulling keywords like generative AI into their products, these are solutions that can be used for other applications. And these are applications that I believe have numerous tailwinds in the current market. The other thing I do want to say is a lot of these products look very similar to some of the older products that NVIDIA has. But each product that this company develops has its own unique solution and within its own unique solution, its own unique market. So let's take a closer look. So these new products are either going to be using some form of NVIDIA ADA, NVIDIA Hopper or NVIDIA Grace Hopper processor. And it includes like the NVIDIA L4 Tensor Core GPU and the NVIDIA H100 NVL GPU. Before we go any further, I want to thank you for watching and I need your help to reach my goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you can do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up. Also, if you want some fantastic insight into the semiconductor industry, join my other channel, Semiconductor Investing and More, where I use my electrical engineering background to break down the semiconductor market. Finally, I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for their subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. Episode. Let's just take a closer look at the NVIDIA L4 Tensor Core GPU. This is a GPU that is mainly meant for certain workloads, and those workloads are Accelerate Video, AI, and Graphics. And that's pretty much it. Where the H100, we hear about this, and this is NVIDIA's core product, the H100 is amazing at a lot of things. This NVIDIA L4 tens, uh, Tensor Core GPU is amazing at one thing. And the great thing about being amazing for one thing is you're able to reduce a lot of the power consumption needed. Uh, they do give an example during the Q&A session for, for the L4, for example, is roughly a 70 watt or 75 watt system, where the H100, in the other hand, is roughly a 700 watt system. So uh, a, a factor of 10, it, it's in, it, impressive, a magnitude of one uh, here that, um, this is, again, a specific GPU meant for accelerated video, AI, and graphics workload. And luckily for NVIDIA, right now, AI, graphics, and video tend to be a big and important player in generative AI concept, right? So pretty cool. They do break down their solutions a little bit more, right? The first four, uh, the, the, first, the four products are... First, the NVIDIA L4, which is for AI video and can deliver 120 times more AI powered video performance than CPUs combined with 99% better energy efficiency. And they explained this a little bit more in their Q&A session. But right uh, just to kind of give you guys some information, they do mention that the video market and a lot of workloads are still being done in the CPU space, not the GPU market. So there's a lot of opportunity there. Then they mentioned the NVIDIA L40, which is for image generation and is optimized for graphics and AI enabled 2D video and 3D image generation. And it's great for a company like Stable Diffusion. Then they kind of go forward down and they mentioned the NVIDIA H100 NVL which has 94 gigabytes of memory that is meant for large language model deployment, things like chat GPT. Finally, they mentioned NVIDIA Grace Hopper for recommendation models, and they mentioned it's ideal for graph recommendation models, vector databases, and graph neural networks. 
The great thing about this is NVIDIA is a full stack system where, hey, you can buy their hardware, but then you can also purchase their enterprise software suite to take advantage of their hardware and their software. So they have multiple, they can have a single customer, but that single customer can be a multi-user for numerous of their applications. They also mentioned that early adoption and support is coming from Google Cloud, an early customer of NVIDIA's inference platforms, and is integrating the L4 platform into its machine learning platforms. And obviously, we do know that Google Cloud was most likely running uh, YouTube, for example, and this would probably be a great case for the L4 platform. They give us some release dates as well. The NVIDIA L4 GPU is in private preview right now, and it's also available from global network of more than 30 computer makers. You can purchase it, the hardware itself. The NVIDIA L40 GPU is currently available from leading system builders as well. They mentioned the Grace Hopper Super Chip is sampling now, and with full production expected in the second half of the year, the H100 NVL GPU is also expected in the second half of this year. So a lot of new products, a lot of new solutions, super, super excited for NVIDIA. So there were a few questions in the Q&A and here is the transcript. They are preliminary, so maybe some of the words might not be correct, but I do believe it just gives us an overall example of this new product. They mentioned that, hey, their partnership with GCP is very, very big deal and it's an inflection point for their partnership. They also talk a little bit about the energy efficiency of the L4 versus something like the H100, where one's a 75 watt system and the other is a 700 watt system. Continuing here in the Q&A session, there was an analyst that pretty much asked, hey, can you give us a little bit more insight of this inference opportunity and where can we see it in the next couple of years? And the CEO, Jensen, did kind of give us some great insight. First, he mentions inference right now has largely been a CPU oriented workload. And that right off the bat is telling us that, hey, this is a huge growth opportunity because right now it seems to not be much accelerated. And the reason why it's a CPU oriented workload at the moment is because it's a fairly lightweight models at the moment. They might be recommending something like related to shopping or a book or a query or so on and so forth. And these kinds of recommendations are largely done on CPUs. He even mentions that there are several reasons why even video is processed on CPU today. But they mentioned that in the future, what is likely to happen are two fundamental dynamics that are inescapable at this point. One of them is sustainability. You can't continue to take these video workloads and process them on CPUs. You can't take these deep learning models, even if the quality of service was a little bit less good using CPUs to do it because it just burns too much power. So overall acceleration and workload raw performance in its own way is an important aspect. But the second thing is just sustainability of power efficiency and using a CPU for something that a CPU can be doing something else is just unsustainable at this portion. I mean, just how I mentioned earlier, the H100 versus the L4, then when you compare it, they even have some great things that compare the L4 versus a CPU server, raw performance is dramatically higher. And here's an image kind of explaining how they consume less energy and space with L4, where previously would probably be about a 1900 server system. Now it would be about a 16 server system consuming 99% less energy and less rack space. So I hope you guys learned a little bit more about their inference platforms later today. I am going to do another video on NVIDIA CPU, the Grace platform and how they expect this growth opportunity from here. The company shared so much great insight and unfortunately it's too much to pack in one video, especially if we want to take a closer look at each of them individually. So take care, have a good day and see you next time.